Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Bongi Lokumalo here. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, hello, hi, Han. And if you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I created my YouTube intro video using an app called Canva. It was the first time ever and it seemed as if though it's rocket science and actually it's not. With a few tutorials, I was able to get my video done. And I hope I can share those basics with you and you can use Canva for a lot of things. You can use it for your work presentations, you can use it for your school presentations, a whole lot of things, not only for YouTube intros. And you can also use it to create thumbnails because that's what I also used for my first thumbnail. So I'm going to show you on how to do all of that. And please do not forget to like this video, to share, to comment. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Okay, enough of the mumbling. Let's get into the video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. This is what you do. You will go to your desktop. You can actually do this on your phone. If you use your phone, you can just download the Canva app from your Play Store or from your App Store, whatever phone that you use. You can just download the app. Then from there on, you will have to sign up and log in if you have not signed up on Canva before. And if you do have Canva, you can just log in. Then it will take you straight to this page. Then from here, you go on your search. And we are creating a YouTube um, to intro video. So, so, so we type YouTube. intro there there you go it will give you a whole lot of templates that you can just manipulate edit and use if you don't want to create your own but then i want to create my own template so i'm going to use black then before you do anything this is the green screen that you see from here on you can just use one screen two screen you can just add like if I click here, I can add another screen. Each screen automatically is going to be like this. But you can change your duration of how much you want each screen to last for it to be one here. So I want my first screen to be like one. So what I'm, gonna I'm not applying to all pages because the time is going to be different for every screen. And I'm going to have five screens. So I click. Okay, this is the first one. Sorry for that. Second, so one. Then the second one, I want it to be two seconds. So I'm gonna change the timing. Two seconds. There we go. That's how you just change the timing for each slide that you wanna have. And then you, if you wanna just add pictures or name with your white background, you can do that. But I want my background. A video of my um, Instagram um, collage like scrolling through I'll show you in a second how I got that video from Instagram phone okay so you will switch on your screen recording I'm using an Huawei P smart so I just scroll down and I press screen record I don't know what you do with Samsung or iPhone but yeah I think that's what you do you don't have to switch on your mic um, mine is on because I'm trying to explain what I'm doing then from there on you will go to your Instagram we are trying to get the pictures that are flowing through at the back of the video that's like a college so you go to your Instagram you go to your profile wherever you want the pictures the video of the pictures to start scroll scrolling from that's where you go then you will just screen record while you scroll down through your through your instagram um you can even do it by going to your pictures and liking your pictures scroll through like your pictures use this kind of video instead 
um, instead of the one of the college. You can do that or you can just scroll like I did. Then you will save this video and this screen recording video and that's the one you will use on your Canva. So you will... Okay, back from that. Then we go to our uploads. If you want to change the background of this color, you can just click here and change the background to gray, to black, to, to anything you want it to be. Oh, I saw something cool that I actually liked. I'm going to use a video for my background. But you can use anything as your background. It doesn't have to be a video. You can have different elements. Let's go to elements and I want to show you something. Let's um, say following the elements. Like this is so cool. You can actually just get anything from it. And let's say I want to have my background as diamonds falling. Let me look for diamonds falling, my cute ones. Okay, let me just take this. Then I'm just going to make this full screen to fit the whole background. Oh, I'm, I'm making on the second side, but it's fine because I'm going to delete that. I am still just showing you what you can do. Then I'm going to press play. So it's going to show the diamonds. Okay, this one's unmoving. Let's use this diamond. So this is on the first screen. So let's full the whole screen with diamonds there we go then let's change the background to a different color for the diamonds to be you see then you have your diamonds falling in that format and you can just drag them whichever way you want them to be that was like an example that i saw while i was watching some videos so basically you can search for anything that you want as your background either a, a something that's not moving or a video or something that's moving like the diamonds in my case i used my own videos like my own picture from my instagram feed but then okay i want to search something let's try for chickens dancing chickens i don't think canva has dancing chickens but i don't just want to see that <laughs> okay i guess this is a chicken <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is a chicken, but you, you get my point. You can literally just search for anything that you want and you and the elements and you'll get graphics, videos and whatnot and you can use those. Let me just click back because I'm not gonna use all this. I'm not gonna use diamonds for my intro. Okay, then you're gonna go to your upload. In this case I was using my own pictures, um my own videos because it was an intro about myself. Let me delete this. Mm -hmm. Let me just click on delete. I don't need that thing. And I'm working on the first slide. So, first of all, you need, to, if you're working on your own images, you need, and videos, you're going to need to upload that media onto Canva. So, you go on upload media and you choose whichever media that you want. Yeah, then you can just choose any pictures that you want and upload those pictures on your Canva. Pictures that you're going to use, or videos, or anything. In this case, I'm not uploading anything because I already have my media. I put it on Canva because I'm recreating a tutorial that I like. I've already created. I don't want to do it, but it's like movie. Okay, then from there on, I go to my videos from my first slide. I want my pictures scrolling through, so I'm gonna drag this video of my screen recording from my phone and paste it here, and I'm gonna spread it across, just like that just like that okay then i'm gonna okay remember I, my first slide is supposed to be a second so i'm gonna come here and click and change and i'm gonna drag to where i want the pictures to start scrolling from so i want them to start from here but only for a second then i'm gonna drag this back and make this one second then I want this background to let me just fix this. Then I want it to not be bright. Like I want you to see whatever I'm gonna put on top. So I'm gonna change the transparency to like 30. So you can see it, but it's not that visible. Because it's just a background. So I'm gonna put the transparency to 30. There we go. Okay. 
then my first slide i have my name typing in on search so i'm gonna go to elements and i want um where i'm searching um so you can just type for youtube search whatnot search i don't remember what i typed to get that but let me see what i used mm, okay this is the one i used i'm just gonna go on my recently used because i've already searched for this and this is the one that i used so i'm gonna drag this and put it here in the center you can just click here middle center to make sure it's centered then i want my name here to be as a okay before i do that i want the same thing on the second screen but then the animation must be different so i'm just gonna duplicate the screen so i don't have to redo this whole thing so i'm just gonna duplicate it here it is duplicated and i'm just gonna change the time here because i need my second screen to be two seconds i'm gonna change it to two then i'm gonna move this around from where it ends so it doesn't show the same pictures but it continues on the other screen so now it's two seconds then there we go but i wanted to duplicate the sign so i'm gonna go on my first one because i'm not done with that and i'm gonna add my name so i'm gonna go to text um, i'm gonna add a subheading and just type in my name and drag this here to the center and i want the youtube sign for this to appear as, the, as if though you were searching from youtube from the youtube engine so i drag the sign change the size i'm just gonna do this and not try and perfect it because i'm just showing you how i did that so okay Let me move the sign before first. Then move my name. Okay, but then I want this first slide from for you to appear as if though someone was typing the name. So I'm gonna click on it and go to animation. Okay, I'm sure I'm clicked on my name. then i want this to appear as if though it's being typed so i'm gonna have type right so you see how it appears let me press play so exactly it's as if my name is being typed then we are done with our first slide then we go to our second one on our second one we have the same name but in this case um it's not typed i'm gonna put back the sign just like i did in the first one then I'm going to add my text, which is my name, add subheading, and I'm going to type in my name. But on this case, I don't want it to be animated. So I'm just going to move it to the center. Because I don't, I want it to seem like it's been typed, then now you are just searching. So the name doesn't have to be um, popping or being typed right, so I won't animate it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, and I made sure that everything was aligned, but in this case, I'm not because I'm trying to make the video not as long. Then I added the click button to make it seem as if though you are just clicking the search button. So I took this from cases. You can just type searches cases on your elements. Then I just zoomed it in, dragged it, and put it here on the clicking sign. Oh, sorry there there we go then i am done with my second screen so let's move this to your first screen so you can play what you've done so far so you see how it appears then you move to your third screen my third screen has okay you can actually add um transitions in between i didn't add any transition in the first one i did add a transition because now i was putting in an image on my second one so you can just add transition and i add a circle wipe 
for this one and my third screen was for 1.5 seconds because it was only my picture popping up as if that's what you just discovered after pressing the search take that to 1.5 seconds slide Next. then I'm gonna add that picture that pops up so this is how I did that I went to my element okay and I went to let me just click okay I'm not on graph I'm not supposed to be on graphics I went to lines and shapes then I want my picture to appear as a circle and I just drag this here and drag it out to whatever size that you want center it but because I want to add an image you can only change the color here like you cannot change this image like you can you can do nothing to it so for you to be able to add an image and take the shape of this you can't use what I use now um because I used just a frame I don't know if you can see that let me just go back I used this underlines and shapes so you can't add anything let me try and show you if I go to click on my pictures and try adding a picture here what's gonna happen so it just it's just on top nothing is gonna happen let me delete that then for me to be able to add a picture and take the shape of a circle this is what I need to do I go back to elements and I scroll down to frames so these frames and grids are the ones that allow you to add a picture in the, and take up the, the, the shape of whatever they have so in this case I want a circle let me go back to my slide then I'm gonna drag the circle I'm gonna zoom it down put it inside this circle and I want a small border around so this is perfect so I can group this two okay so I can just where's my group here then I can just group this so if it moves it moves together then I want this outline to be red when it pops up so I change that color to red then I went to my images and I add my picture see and now my picture takes up that shape then I want this to pop up when you come on the screen so I go okay it's still clicked so I go to animate and make this pop so that's how it appears it just pops then I can change here whether it pops when it enters or when it exits and for this case I want it to pop both in and out so that's what I did so I said I have this for 1.5 seconds let's just quickly change the timing to just click on this time here okay it is 1.5 seconds I don't know why it's showing 1.3 down there okay then our next slide my fourth slide which is only for 2.2 seconds because I'm trying to keep this intro as short as I can so in this slide I just added my pictures three of my pictures so I'm gonna go to images and in this case you can just go back to your elements you can add your images in any frame that you want to you can search for it but I wanted mine with my how I took them from Instagram I don't know if you get that so I track this image okay I don't know why it's full screen let me undo that let me drag that there you go then I just tilted it a bit because I don't want it to be straight up this was the first image that I added because I wanted this Instagram layout with my name and whatnot. Maybe there's another way of doing it, but I just figured out I could just do it this way. So, and I'm going to animate this on how it comes in and out. So, I want it to, to rise as if like it's coming from down. So, I'm going to put rise on both when it enters and exits. Then I'm done with that one and from this slide to this one i want the transition to be line wiping so i'm gonna add this as if it's just flipping to the other slide when the pictures enter so let's go to that and i'm gonna add the other image which is this one and i'm 
gonna flip it a bit drag it okay this one's yeah grab this one hey guys i'm i i, I perfected it when i was doing it but now i'm then i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna make it rise please rise rise there both when it enters and exit then we're done then i'm gonna add the third one which is this picture i'm gonna flip it a bit put it here and put the same animate which is rise on both when it enters and exit and let me fix the time here i said i want this slide to last for 2.2 seconds what is it where is it saying 1.9 2.5 there that's 2.2 seconds now then my next slide which is the last one let me do the same thing at this video that I keep forgetting to duplicate and this one since it's my last slide I want it to last for like 3.6 seconds almost 4 seconds because that's where I show my details, name, my YouTube channel, my Instagram handle and everything. So I'm going to drag that. I want it to start from these pictures anyway. And make that 4 seconds, 3.3 seconds. Let me just make that 4 seconds. That's fine. Then let me change the transparency. Just drag that. Let me change the transparency to 30 as I did all of them. okay then and this one I added two videos with all the names okay let me start with the videos i went to elements and here mm, did i go on to fame just search yeah and i used this one let me change the outline to white and that to black so it pops up so this is the one that i used and i tilted it drag it like that and i went on to add my videos on top and this video is actually long so i'm gonna click on the video okay so i can change the timing to like three seconds or less than that because the slide only must only last for like four seconds so you can't have the video more than that so i'm gonna make it 3.5 okay 3.4 let me leave it at that then i'm gonna add my second video on the bottom and also click on it change its timing okay it's already 3.2 seconds because it's a short one then i'm gonna make it then you can just click on the video to to move it around in whichever way that you want it and change the type then now um i went on to put on the name let me go to text and i just searched for chloe i don't know what, what i searched for but this is the one that i used you can just search for anything or scroll down you will see different fonts and all styles and whatnot but i took this one and i placed it here And I changed the name, just invited to let's connect. So I'm gonna type connect and this your let's connect and just move it, then animate this. I want it to seem as if it's being typed right, that's what I did. Also, that let's animate, make it type right. Then you can also edit the style. I want it to to be like bright, that Chloe text thingy. So okay. Mm 
then I'm gonna go on effect so I used the glitch there then you, on the next one I'm gonna highlight the LEDs then add new effect then you go on your glitch then there you go then for my name for my Instagram handle I go to my element and I searched for Instagram icon then you can use whatever icon let me just go to my recent pages because I have it here I believe I think I used this one um, I think no I used this one you take it change the size add text my name my Instagram name Bonilla underscore Kumalo drag it there then my YouTube go back to elements go back to my YouTube is the YouTube icon there I think this was on top then add text subheading and go Kumalo and move this text here then now I want to add that please subscribe thingy that's like clicking so you need to download this um, video this if you go on YouTube you can just search for YouTube green screen and it will show you a whole different kind of YouTube whatnot so this is the one I downloaded from YouTube unfortunately I can't show how I did that because it's gonna take so much time and already this video is like on 26 minutes and that's very very long so you're just gonna track this video here and it has different times so I only want this first part so I'm gonna go and crop this is where I want it from see how long it is I'm just gonna drag it down to this part only. so this is what I want only those okay let me just drag it so I can that back clicking okay, okay. exactly that's what I want but unfortunately it's not gonna have the sound so done then I am gonna crop this because I don't want the green part I only want this white bordered so I'm gonna crop this then I'm gonna bring it down to that crop it like that so I can only have the white borders showing there you go click enter and there you have it and I said I want this video to be only for like three point like four seconds so it's 3.9 it's fine and this whole video it's like 10 seconds and the transition that I used in between these two slides was the slide so I'm gonna add the transition slide so it slides through the next one there you go then I'm gonna add music to this video so you can also upload your music while you're uploading everything else I already have the audio uploaded here so this is the song that I'm gonna use for my intro then I'm gonna just drag the song and come place it here and I want it from the beginning of the video so I'm just gonna drag it so I've uploaded that song so now let's just press play <laughs> So basically that's how i did my whole youtube intro um i was trying not to be very long but yeah i hope you guys have seen how i did it and this is not the perfect version of it because i was trying not to take too much of your time so you can just play around on your canva and you can see what elements to add the transitions the animations there's a whole lot of things um i don't think i'm gonna be able okay let me just try let me just try and show you the thumbnail so let me just go on a blank page so for my thumbnail this is what i did i did that so you can go to your elements and go to your frames because i used different a lot of pictures so let me go to frame go to your frames 
and this you can choose any layout that you want you can make it one picture you can make it three pictures four pictures whatever that you want and i used four pictures from for my first um thumbnail and i chose this layout okay where is it where is it where is it Why can't I find this layout? Okay, let me just go back. Okay, I used grids um, for the thumbnail. So these are different types of layouts, like a peak art, whatnot. We can add, add different images. Yeah, so I wanted one that allows me to add four pictures. Where is it? Where is the one that I use? No, it's not this one. Okay, this is the one that I used because I wanted this layout. Then I went on to my uploads and I went to my images and I just dragged my pictures. Click on your picture and you just. Oh. Let me try, I'm just trying to move this picture. Okay, there. Then you can move the picture. There you go. Then add the next one. Then add your... What picture did I have here? I think it's this one. Then add that one. Then what other picture did I have? Okay, it's this screenshot. Then have that one. Then I want a border so that this can stand out. Then I went to my elements. I'm gonna go to my line and frames, line and shape, sorry. Um, and choose this border. Make the outline black then just drag it to all the sides there then I'm gonna add my topic my yeah whatever then I'm gonna just go to add heading and I had a few okay, let me make the cuts a few days few days in my life okay there you go but this isn't standing out and you can change the font so this is the one that I used okay this moved let me just move back this border Let me just lock this border so it doesn't move. So I'm going to lock it. Then, this isn't standing out. So I'm going to add a border behind it so it, um, it can stand out. Then I'm going to go to elements again. So let me take that. Shape this. So I'm going to go to my shapes. So you can choose. You can choose any. Let me just take this box. Then I'm just going to drag it across to make it a border. Of the heading there let me just move it to the center but I want it to be a different color not red so let me just click on it change the color to brown so there that's it that's your dumb needle you can you can just choose whatever layout that you want and this is how you create it so i hope i helped some of you but then you can just play around with this and you can see what you can create there are templates different elements you can search for whatever and you can just incorporate it
so thank you so much guys thank you for watching i hope this tutorial helped some of you for your work for, for school for any projects that you're working on or any editing that you want to do thank you so much